What useless skill do you absolutely dominate? When passing out papers to a group of people, I can flick the paper in a straight line up to six feet. It amazes kids. It's also really fun to hit them in the head with a sheet of paper. When I was in high school I read some novel in which the woman admires the hero because he has a habit of throwing his keys over his shoulder and catching them behind his back. I practiced and learned to do it pretty easily. But I never had the confidence to do it casually in front of women. Or anyone really. Tongue twisters. Can't talk for shit normally. But I can say all the crazy shit. I can make realistic fart sounds with my neck. Not sure if I dominate this skill as I never met a competitor. Recognizing the voices of actors and actresses when they are doing voiceovers. It has never been useful and never will be. I can name the location of every country in the world on a map. No one cares though. I can do impersonations very well. That's why I'm unemployed. Untangling things. I don't know why. But I can always untangle knots and tangled up necklaces. I only met my match once with a silver necklace. Edit. Wow so many replies. Thanks for the awards too. I guess I thought it was useless since I only really did it for jewelry I never wear anyway but wow. Network technicians. Respect. Folding fitted sheets. It seems to amaze people. I'm still undefeated in the game where you have to say an animal that starts with the last letter from the animal the other player said. You keep doing that till someone gives up because he doesn't know more animals and you're not allowed to use an animal previously used. Nobody beats me at this shit. Edit. Holy shit this blew up. Guys, I'm undefeated in my native language, Dutch. In English I am probably not as good. I can parallel park so damn good. I remember when I took my driver's test how easy it was, and I stopped being nervous. Ever since then friends or family members I ride with, even if I'm not driving and they find a parallel parking spot no matter how snug but manageable they make me do it. I'm decent at many things, but parallel parking is a skill I have maxed out for some reason. Remembering absolutely useless shit. Whistling to get my dog's attention. If there are other dogs within two blocks, I get their attention too. Enjoying hobbies that are terrible for monetizing. I can bark like a dog, surprisingly well. I can do different sizes and pitches too it's fun but very annoying to do at the dog park. I can run really fast on my hands and feet. It has never come in handy. I wiggle my ears at an Olympic level. Chicks dig it, or so I tell myself. Remembering phone numbers. It was far more impressive before smartphones. Not so useful nowadays. In my early 20s, I had a timekeeping talent that I can't explain to this day. I could go on without a clock for as long as an hour and a half and guess how much time passed down to the second with only a five second error margin. Unfortunately I stopped practicing at some point and eventually completely lost the skill. Picking things up with my toes. Edit. My first Reddit awards. Being confident. But only in my room alone. Pretending that I'm working on my laptop even when I'm commenting on Reddit. Plugging in the USB key at first try. Making up terrible puns on the spot. Programming names into bowling lane consoles. I can juggle all kinds of things, including fire and machetes. Fun fact, juggling machetes are really expensive but real machetes can be much cheaper. Fun extra danger factor. Cracking my joints. Pogo stick. I used to use it as a mode of transportation when I was a kid. Meaning I would hop all around my neighborhood at a whopping 0.2 miles an hour feeling like fucking beast. I know the exact amount of time to microwave anything so that it is the perfectly warmed up. Winning fake argument scenarios with myself in the shower. You know those spatial intelligence tests that ask you to rotate an 3D object in your mind and select the correct image. I get perfect or near perfect scores on those every single time. Edit. So a couple people have linked this test in the comments as an example of what I'm talking about. I took that test in 10 minutes and scored a 9 tenths. I screwed up on question 7. That said I'm not sure what the average should be on a test like this. Edit 2. Lol everyone's telling me to go into chemistry. I would rather die a fiery death than go through another college chemistry class. But thank you for the suggestion nonetheless. I am the best at not doing what I'm supposed to be doing. 
staying up late when it really would be advisable if I went to bed at a sensible time. I'm a pretty great Tetris player. I dominated the Tetris.com high scoreboards for a very long time. Edit, I can't believe a throwaway comment about Tetris blew up like this. I'm blown away. All of your suggestions really put a smile on my face. I'll definitely be looking into many of them. I can make broken things work one more time when they are not needed. I can bite Smarties into a perfect square before eating them. The sugar US Smarties and not the chocolate Smarties. I can throw a closed fan and catch it open. Good use of my free time. I never did this trick in front of anyone, and I'm not shy, I just know it's useless. I can open a soda can really fucking loud. I can lick my elbow and say my alphabet backwards. Why? I have no fucking idea. Dislocating my shoulder on command. I am pretty good at pen spinning and it is completely useless. Bending my fingers in interesting ways. I can control my laptop's scroll pad with my toes, feet so I don't have to sit up to complete simple tasks, can even highlight multiple files. Identifying every current nation flag. Being able to burp on command. Anytime Simone burps near me I'll unleash a thunderous belch to show dominance. Throw slippers off my foot and hit anyone. I seem to be great at making people I like angry with me. The crane claw games. My son's room is filled with stuffies I got from them. Every time I go to laundromat my wife mutters, dear God no more. Cooking good food without testing the flavor. I know enough about spices, heat, and visual indicators that I can cook most dishes at home without every having to check for flavor. It's actually really bad though. I'll cook for potlucks and gamble that people will enjoy my food. I get quite a rush seeing people take their first bite. I can meow quite realistically to a point where I've had people look over to see if there was a cat nearby but I don't think that's actually a skill.